The consistory of the new cardinals was initiated during the closing of the Jubilee of Mercy, where Pope Francis closed the Holy Door at St. Peter's Basilica. In his homily, Pope Francis called for the spirit of hope and mercy to continue for people to forgive each other and for the world leaders to make gestures of peace and reconciliation. The new cardinals got dressed in red robes and received the red hat that symbolizes your readiness to act with courage even to the shedding of your blood for the Catholic Church. The consistory of Papua New Guinea's first ever cardinal, Sir John Ribat, and 16 others now means they are eligible to vote in the next secret conclave to elect the new pope. Known as Cardinal Electors, they will vote for the new pope to head the world's 1.2 billion Catholics until the age of 80. After the consistory, Pope Francis and the new cardinals hoped in advance for a short ride to visit retired Pope Benedict XVI. General Secretary of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands, Father Victor Roch also accompanied the new Cardinal. Father Victor said, it's a time-honored ceremony to elevate new Cardinals. Cardinal Sir John Ribat, speaking with Vatican Radio, said one of the greatest messages was to request for the Pope to visit Papua New Guinea. Oh, well, I, <laughs> you know, for me, this is what I will, I will tell him. Come and visit us. Yeah. Come, you have recognized us. You have done great for us. But this time, you come out and meet us and experience what it is for us there. Yeah. So for me, this will be a great thing uh, to tell him. And that's what many people are saying. When you go, this is not only um, Catholics, this is Christians. Yeah. Fabian Hacklitz, National MTV News.